What's up guys, how's it going? Prime Kuro here, and as you can see in the background, we have the Street Fighter V cinematic story trailer. Pretty excited for this, obviously, like we've pretty much found out nothing barring the storyline. We don't really know what the boss is going to be like, we don't know anything really, so I'm excited to see how this goes, so let's put it on. This is uploaded about 10 minutes ago, so literally just straight in. That's loud. Okay. That's interesting. There's a lot of animation here. Shadow Lee. Ooh, there's a time limit. World Destruction? So the storyline's just got intense. It's like a spirit bomb, guys. Ooh. Okay, so Nikali, assumably, is going to be pretty, pretty significant on the bad side of things, as I guess a lot of us expected. Oh, that's sick. That's sick. Who are you, lady? What? Is this like a hint for <laughs> Ingrid to save the world for the next wave of characters? I, I bloody well hope so. Yo. Yes. Okay. That's a storyline that we kind of expect to have with Charlie. Like, free update coming summer 2016. So, the game doesn't come out with story mode? Okay. It's interesting. I don't really know what to say about that. Coming summer 2016. So, a rigid, like the game comes out with arcade mode. Um. Okay. I mean, companies do this more often where we get things released as a steady update, which I guess combined with the combat pack. Combat pack. With the season pass, six characters. I guess that means there's a constant flow of updates coming out, though. I think not releasing the game with the story mode isn't too good an idea for newer players. You know? Like, oh, this music. Man. They've done a really good job with this uh, cinematic trailer. Oh, Mika and Zangief. Kind of saw that coming. But where are you? Where is the lady? Who are you? Who is this lady? Like, at first I was thinking, oh, it could be, like, Kami in an alternate outfit. But no, that, that's not Kami. That's, like, a Russian Kami. I don't know. There's a lot of interesting things. This. This is, like, world destruction. This is, like, Spirit Bomb Dragon Ball Z stuff right here. Now this makes me wonder, are they going to add the new characters into the cinematic story? Will this be an ongoing story mode? Because Guile and Nash are incredibly relevant for story together. And obviously you want Guile in there to kind of associate with Nash. So it feels weird for, to have Nash and Guile potentially working the story together. For Guile to not be an all, like, for Guile to not be a character that is in the original roster. It just feels unusual to me. To be honest, there's a lot more animation. There's a lot more animation in this trailer, which is a great thing. Um, remember when we got the Super Street Fighter 4 story mode in that was literally just, okay, we have three pictures with some text and some voice, you know, voice acting. Now this is a really nice trailer. Really makes you wonder what the hell this is. Obviously, Wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who sees the reference? 420. 420, guys. Check it out. Okay. We'll leave, I think we'll leave it there. Okay. I hope you guys are as stoked as I am for Street Fighter V. You'll be seeing a lot of Street Fighter V footage on my channel once the game hits. <sighs> Until then barely a month away, not even a month away, less than a month away, I'll be seeing all of you guys on Street Fighter V on release. Until then, I'll see you guys later. It's Prime Kira, signing out.